everybody, it's Jim with RV with the Tanners. And today I'm excited to talk to you about a new product from GoPower. The model number is IC2000. The links are down below if you want to check out more information on the device itself. What the device does is it's three devices in one and it replaces a lot of devices inside your RV already. So it's an inverter, so it would create AC power from your batteries. It's a converter, so then it converts shore power when you're plugged in at home or at a campground to 12 volt, which supplies that to your RV and it also charges your battery. And finally, it's a transfer switch. So it has the intelligence inside to determine if you are creating power on the inverter, AC power, or if you're plugged into shoreline power, and so then it routes it back through that. The device itself takes AC in, has an AC line going out to your distribution panel, and then there's two connections over here for the battery. We'll get to that in a moment. I'll give you a kind of a, a surround view of what the device looks like. But then we'll go into the wiring, and then we'll show it to you in the trailer, how it's actually wired and what it looks like inside. All right, so you might be asking yourself, well, that's great, Jim, I see this device. Why would I want an IC2000 in my RV? Well, the reason you do it is a couple of reasons. And one of the major reasons is to consolidate your wiring and bring it down into one. So you have less voltage drop, less amperage drops, uh, less capability for failure. And the other thing that it does is it replaces quite a few devices. So over here are the devices that this actually replaces. The first one here is the transfer switch. I've done a video on that and how to wire a transfer switch. While a little complex, if you work your way through it, it's not that bad, but it's just one more device. The next device is the converter that's in the RV. So this would take AC power and convert it into DC, provides it to your RV, and then also charges your batteries. This is the 2000 watt pure sign inverter that I have in my RV. It did a great job, but what I really wanted to do was just convert everything, one, two, three devices, into one, fairly simple. So this is the side. We'll talk about this panel in a moment where that's going to be opening up a couple of screws there and we're going to show you how to wire the device. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of spin around here and we're going to look at the actual connections on how to connect the device to your RV. Uh, on the top is your AC input. This is where the power line comes in from your shore power. And then the bottom one is where your power goes back out to the RV. Fairly simple there. And then right here, you connect uh, to your chassis ground. On the side here, there's a remote panel that you can purchase from Go Power, and I highly recommend that. It's going to allow you to control the device from inside your RV and not have to go to the device here every time you want to do that. So, highly recommend it, and I'll show you that panel in just a moment. Uh, the next one, uh, these are both like telephone wire connections, is your battery temperature. And what this does is it runs a cable out to your battery bank, it connects to the negative terminal, and it monitors your battery for um, hot and cold temperatures. And then it will adjust the algorithms inside and it will uh, either power more or power less depending on the temperature of the battery. There's a couple of dip switches here. You can read that in the manual on how to program that if that's important to you. And then finally, they had these large lugs here. So you bring in your, your negative battery cable uh, and then your positive battery cable. Okay, so I removed the access panel on the IC2000. I'm going to show you how to do the wiring in just a moment. But before I do that, I want to show you something I think is important. If you take a look at the access panel itself, it's held in by these very small screws. I highly recommend you don't do this somewhere where they can fall behind and get lost or somewhere in a well that you can't get to. Do this on your workbench. Take them off. Put this access panel off to the side. Keep the screws safe until you're actually done with the wiring itself. That'll help a lot. Okay, coming in on the back is your AC power in. So you've got your leg one, you've got leg two, and then your neutral. And then ground goes to this nice grounding post. What I, I haven't wired it in just to kind of make it a little cleaner. But then out here would be leg one of power, leg two of power, your neutral. And then you'd put your ground here. And then out it would come out to the RV's um, distribution panel for power. If that's a little hard to remember, um, you probably notice here that these aren't actually in all the way. I've made it so I can just pull these out. I'll show you something because I think it's rather neat. Um, I'm going to zoom this up. So what GoPower has actually done is made this label for you on the inside, and it actually lists things out. So this correlates to this diagram here. So on the top, it says N1, so that would be your leg 1 in, N2, leg 2 in, and then ACN, which is your neutral here. And then it goes on to talk about the bottom one. So we've got your output here, output 1, output 2, and then your neutral, and they all line up. So a nice job for GoPower for inserting that, letting people actually see. If you don't have an electrical engineering di uh, degree, you can actually do this on your own. Uh, it's not that hard. Just read the manual and make sure you understand which cable connects to which power. Pretty easy. Next, we're going to jump out to the trailer, and I'm going to show you this installed. Yay! Okay, so the GoPower IC2000 is now fully installed in my RV. 
I'm gonna give you a quick look at what it, how it is installed here. So we've got the AC line coming in, the AC line going out. That's the outbound, that's the inbound. And then I showed you earlier the connection, so that goes to the remote. That's my battery sensor. Obviously the positive power cable here, negative battery terminal there. And then it all routes up through that mess of cables. And we'll show you the monitor panel on the inside in just a moment. All right, so here's what the panel looks like installed inside of our RV. I'm going to turn it on in just a moment. I'm going to hit this button right here to turn the inverter on. But what you're going to hear in the background is a little beep. That's my microwave coming on, so just listen for that. All right, so now the microwave's on. It tells us we're on AC power. So looks like the batteries right now have about 12.6 volts. Um, one little test I'm going to run right now for you is I'm going to turn the electric hot water heater on, and it's going to start to pull quite a few amps. So right now you can see it's pulling about 140 amps. Uh, that's quite a bit. Uh, we usually don't use the electric hot water heater when we're dry camping. So I'm going to turn that back off. I just wanted to show you how it shows the amperage being pulled off the batteries uh, through the inverter itself. All right, so now the trailer is plugged in and we're running off a of, uh, shore power. So a couple more information is being shown here. I've got about 0.4 amps coming in. My home's providing uh, 118, 117, and I'm up about 59 hertz. I'll toggle through this a little bit, some more information. So off that battery sensor that we talked about earlier, here's some of the information coming off of that. And one more. And now we're seeing I'm in a multi-stage charge phase uh, coming off of the IC2000 to the batteries. I'm at about 14.12 volts. That's pretty good on the batteries. And then finally, the output from the inverter. So 117 coming out, 59 hertz. Back to where we started. And then one last thing I want to show you just for fun is my EMS. So this thing's running now that the trailer's actually plugged in. So it's saying I've got two legs, 115, zero amps are being used. The second leg of power, 115 amps, or volts, with zero amps being used. If I turn on the hot water heater again, that PE6 is a last error that I had. I need to reset it. So now my hot water heater's on, and you'll see that leg two, 105, zero amps being used. But now when it toggles back to leg one, where my hot water heater is, you'll see that it's pulling about 10 amps. So leg one, 117, and then 10 amps are being used. So this is a nice device that shows you the consumption of AC in your, in your coach. It also lets you know if your shore power is inconsistent and it could possibly damage your RV. All right, so that's a wrap on this video. I hope the information was helpful to you. Again, it was the GoPower IC2000. I find it very helpful in our RV, and hopefully you will too. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, remember that there's some informational links down below and what to look for uh, if you want more research on the device itself. And last but not least, uh, please remember to click that subscribe button wherever I put it. It's probably going to be in this corner here. Uh, I look forward to providing you more videos in the future. Thanks again.